Hey, your viewers and viewers, is my name is General Red Stratist, and welcome back to Tomb Raider 2, Ep 4 now. So, now, last episode, <laughs> I basically spent the whole time, actually, in the Croft Manor, uh, just having a look around and realising that there's a puzzle, basically, to be had in this, um, in this tutorial level. So, we discovered in the maze there is a little underground section which takes you through into a, a well, a walled-off area where there's a button, and if you press that button, it opens a door inside here, but... We think that, um, or at least I'm thinking rather, that that button, or that door rather, is on a timer. So once you press that button in the maze, you have to get out there and get in here as quickly as possible, or so I think. Now, as I said I would, I've uh, taken the time just to explore the maze and actually put together a little map of how it's laid out. So I think I've uh, got a feel for basically what the maze looks like now. Um, if I remember, I might, I don't know, flash it up on the screen, my map that I drew, my very rough map. But um, so basically, it's just a matter of figuring out what probably will be the optimal route once you press the button for getting out as quickly as possible. So I think I figured out, a po uh, well, a couple of possible routes. I did do some very quick trials just to see roughly how long uh, it takes you to run from the walled off section in back into the manor. It's a long one. It, you know, both routes I had in mind, you're looking at an excess of 30 seconds. So the door in here must stay open for a while. I must have just been farting around a bit in the last part. Now, as you can probably tell uh, by the sound of friggin' old Stanley's footsteps, I've shut him in the freezer. So this freezer does serve a purpose. <laughs> Basically, I put him in there so he doesn't get in the way. Because that's the thing. He's a solid entity. So if he gets caught in the maze and he rounds a corner just as you're coming around, you can potentially get stuck on him, and that'll slow your time down, which is not what you want. So basically, I've shut him in the maze. Hopefully he should stay there, out of the way, and we don't need to worry about him. So it means we won't have any interruptions, hopefully, as we're going in here. So here's the main entrance of the maze, uh, as usual. Now, the optimal route, um, I believe, is if we go sort of to the left. At least this is just the one I've marked out on my map. So I'll time this roughly as we're going along towards the X marks, the spot position where the underground tunnel is located. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So it's about 30 seconds from the entrance of the maze to this point here. About 30 seconds there or thereabouts. Obviously, you have to add on a few more seconds for going back through the tunnel, and then once you're out of the main entrance of the maze, back to the mansion itself. So I'm guessing that door is probably going to be open for about a minute. Maybe somewhere around there, 50 seconds-ish, something like that. So we can just drop down into the tunnel once we press the button. But once we come back through, we have to go obviously round to the right. And then I think it's, yeah, you jump up to the right. Okay, just got to remember that, just to try and make this as efficient and quick as possible. So jump up. <coughs> All right, so there's the flares. I didn't actually save uh, after, you know, the initial attempt at this, so we'll just pick those up again. I guess they're just there in case you uh, basically want to... Um... Oh, maybe it's for the main game. All right, activate. Right, so that, yeah, it's definitely there on the right of the freaking clock. Okay, you can hold down the arrow key, actually, and have Lara turning, even as that's playing. All right, so we go around here, back up to the right, up there, that's it. So now we need to go left back the way we came. So left, now just follow the outer wall. So I've just basically sort of hug the right, for the, for the moment anyway at least. Uh, right, go down here, to the right, and right again, through here. We just follow it all the way down, then through to the right, back to the right, keep going along, and this should be the entrance here. Okay, right. So now, just keep running and just hope that we're in time. <laughs> I hope we are. I hope it didn't take too long there. Because if I end up taking too long, God knows how many attempts this is going to... 
require. It's, o it's open, it's open, it's open. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, nearly there, nearly there. We're nearly there. Don't shut on me now. Don't shut on me. Got it. There we go. We're done. Right, we're in. Okay, so that's puzzle number one of an indeterminate number solved. So I guess, does this just now, if we press this, does it just... Oh, right, okay. I thought maybe that would reopen the door, but it hasn't. Okay, interesting. So I guess we just go down into the darkness towards the cellar. Oh god, I hope that's not too dark. Whoa. Is that a fucking treasure vault? Holy shit. That's a lot of gold. <laughs> Bloody hell, Lara. Is this your secret stash of all the things you've raided? God, you can't really see much here, ladies and gents. I hope um, it's not too much of an issue. Wow. Okay. See, there's like little figurines and all kinds of stuff in there. All right, we'll go through into the next area. So there's got to be some puzzle or other here, right? Hmm. Is there like a key or something maybe that we can pick up? Like a freaking Egyptian sarcophagus with a cat god or something on it there, which is really weird. All right, what's the deal here? God, I cannot see a thing. It's like so dark in here. Is this like a jumping puzzle, maybe? Do you have to go sort of up? Can you go up? Oh god, I can sort of, I can sort of glitch into those things. Hmm. So hang on, maybe that button that we just pressed, does it activate something? I feel like it probably does, and we need to figure out what. Okay, so <laughs> apologies for taking such a um, momentary diversion from Venice and all that, but uh, we've got to solve this, ladies and gents. We've got to find out what this is. So this has got to do something, but what? What does it do? Does it open something somewhere? I don't see anything open at the moment. I don't know what it does. That button is a weird one. Um, because I don't have my guns, I can't shoot anything out here. Is there like a friggin' hidden entrance somewhere? It's like so fucking dark, you can't even see. Oh! Hello? Did they just rock? Or was that just me? No, it's just me. Okay, hold on. Can I grab onto something there? No. Oh god, what is the deal with this th Oh! Oh no, that's... God, I'm like glitching into surface here. I can't even see what I'm doing. It's so dark in here. Right, so... I have to be able to do something now that I'm down here, but what? Because I can't actually get out of this place. That's the thing. And these are all lit up, as though it's trying to direct my attention to them, but... What exactly am I looking for here? Depending on that would be like a just a passage hidden or a drop somewhere hidden in the darkness that you can't actually friggin' see. Oh god, careful. See, you can barely see out. Like, Lara glitches into that, whatever that is. I don't even know. Um, I can sort of, like, jump up, but why, though? Why, why am I here? What do I, what do I need to look for? God, I'm, like, glitching into these chests, which is not ideal. Is there, like, a window that can be smashed or something? Oh, God, I don't know. There has to be something down here. What am I looking for? What does it want me to look at? Because I can press the button up above, but it doesn't do anything. That's the issue. So what's the point of being down here, then? Hmm. I mean, if I need to jump cut, I'll jump cut, but we'll see. In fact, maybe... Can I actually save my game whilst I'm in here? That's load. Uh, no, you can't. You can't save while you're in here, can you? That's the issue. Unless... Let's well, quick load. Um, don't want to do that. Quick save? No. You cannot save while you're in here. Okay, that's a problem. So what do you need to do? So I figured this part out, but what next? Hmm, okay, I, I think... Uh, oh! Oh, no, wait, the door's now open. Up there. Huh. Oh, okay, maybe I did do something in there. Did I trigger something? Hmm. Still here, old Stanley, down in the <laughs> in the thing. Right, so what did that do? So I've been to the cellar, I guess I must have triggered something, because the door's now open again, to let me out, but... What exactly does it want me to do next? Maybe I have to explore other areas of the house to try and figure this out. 
wonder if somewhere upstairs open, perhaps. I hope that door down there stays open, though. Now, permanently, now that I've been down there. It should do, right? It should just stay doing its thing. Yeah. All right, let's have a look upstairs and just figure this out. Because I feel like something's got to have opened up somewhere. Like maybe the attic, perhaps? Or... Let's just have a quick look. Because you've got this whole room up here that's got really nothing in it. So it just feels like, what's the point of this? If there's nothing up here? But... I don't know. That is the question. There's a puzzle here. There's a secret. And we got to uncover what it is, exactly. we got to figure out where it wants us to go. What it wants us to do. There's definitely nothing up here by the looks of it, but... Something like in the dark alcoves, or in any of the spaces. Not that I can see there. Okay. No. I mean, you know what I'm like. I'm a bit of a speedy Gonzalez. If you watch my RTCW series, you know how often I end up veering off past secrets and then going back to them and realising, oh shit, how did I not see this before? But that's the thing. Um... I could be running very easily past something, for all I know. Let's go and check out this side. <clears throat> and hopefully my voice doesn't suddenly give out at this time in the morning. Um, what door over there is still shut? And I hope the thing downstairs is still open, just in case we need it. Um, so I did comment before that there's that bookcase that just feels really out of place there, but having said that, I don't see anything out of the ordinary in here. What if we go into the library? Let's have a look. Let's sip some tea whilst I'm at it. Hmm. I don't see anything... anything different in here. Um, nothing around here? Or in a corner somewhere? No. No, I don't see anything in here. So the only other place we can really go is across to the other side, um, to the master bedroom, but that's where the key that needs the... well, that's where the uh, lock that needs the key is located. So that don't feel right. That feels like something that would open up later. Presumably once we've resolved some earlier puzzles, but let me just have a look over this banister. Is the door down there still open? It is still open. Okay, so I think it's permanently open now. So whatever the deal is there... I think we've solved it, but I don't know. And that's definitely still shut. I definitely don't have a key on me, do I? No. Oh, my flares! Oh, my flares! I could use my flares, couldn't I? Of course I could. Ah, I'm an idiot. Okay. Right, 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 right. I completely forgot about that. Flares are a thing in this game now. So, hang on. If we go into that dark area, we can probably light it up. Because we've got the means. God, people were probably screaming at me. Red, you have flares. Use your flares. And I completely forgot about them. Because, you know, that's typical of me. Right, hang on, hang on. We're getting somewhere now. We're cooking with gas again. Right, hang on. I don't need my freaking maze map in front of my computer. Oh, God, I just face-planted into the wall. <laughs> All right, so, hang on. Let's go do this. Because we've got about six of them, I think, haven't we? So what we could probably do is put one in here. I think there's a hotkey for this, isn't there? Yes, there is. You see? So she's just sort of holding one now. Let's look at all the walls. Is there anything... Any switches, anything like that? Not that I can see. Like a few little textural glitches in the background, but that's to be expected in an old game like this. Alright, so we've got the little... Inca figurine, or whatever that is there. What are we looking for? Is it something to do with that sarcophagus? No, though. I also don't know how long this um, flare will last. But so far, it looks like it's lasting a fair amount of time, doesn't it? Aha! Okay. So what's the deal here? I can jump. That doesn't really do anything. Hmm. you got this thing here, whatever this is. I don't even know. There's got to be something around here somewhere that I'm supposed to be looking at, but I'm not sure what. That's the issue. I think my flare's giving out. Okay. So it lasts a short while, I guess. Hmm. 
but I don't see anything. That's the problem. I don't see anything down here. There's got to be something down here, something that it wants us to look at, but I don't know what exactly. Let me just use another flare. Um, hmm, I don't know. Because it's, it's all like this treasure on either side, but I don't get it. I don't get where it wants me to go. Or do. What are you asking of me, game? What do you want me to pull off here? <laughs> can I get on there? No. I don't think you can climb on these. You definitely can't. It just doesn't let you. Um, so there's got to be something over here, right? Or... What is it, exactly? What is this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be like a rolled-up carpet or something? Can I sort of look around whilst I'm in it? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not like a switch hidden there, is there? No. I don't see one, anyway. Oh, that's annoying. What, what am I doing down here? Is there something I'm supposed to pick up or bring with me? I don't know. Yeah, the, the flares do not last too long. Maybe, what, about 30 seconds to a minute, somewhere around that region? All right, well, I didn't really see anything down here that was helpful, so... Not altogether sure what to do. How many flares do I have left? Three? Four? Okay, uh... See, my attention really is being drawn to that Egyptian sarcophagus over there, because it's just so different to anything else down here. There's got to be something to that, but I'm not sure what. Let me just light another flare up. And maybe... something will become more obvious, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, if the worst comes to the worst and this is taking me ages to figure out, I can always try and look online for maybe a hint. Without spoiling too much. Just to see if perhaps there's like a walkthrough that maybe just gives you a clue as to what you're supposed to do down here, but I don't really no. I definitely can't pick up these little like Inca figurines. They're just static 2D sprites, they don't do anything. And you definitely can't climb on the chests either. Can you maybe move the chests or push or pull them maybe? Mm, I don't think so. Uh, what about this one over here? Ah, uh, doesn't look right, no. Go over here, it's just a solid wall over there. No, that's, that's not anything. Right, well, that's my third flare done with. I hope I don't need any more of them for this. Right. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump cut. I'm going to explore around a bit on my own off camera, so I'm not wasting time. See if I can find it. And if I can't, then I'll see if I can find a clue. I'll go to a walkthrough or something, but without kind of going too far into it. I'll just sort of give myself enough information to just point myself in the right direction, if necessary. So, one moment, everybody. Okay, right, back in. So, I had a look at a walkthrough, and um, basically, I'm actually ascribing more significance to this than there actually is, it turns out. So, this is actually just an Easter egg, and there's actually nothing down in the treasure room. It's literally just something you can find and look at, because uh, it's all like the treasure that uh, Lara Croft has found on her adventures before. But there's actually nothing else in here, so I thought maybe there was like some bigger puzzle here that would eventually lead you to the locked room upstairs and enable you to actually... Well, basically to um, pretty much open that. But apparently, according to the walkthrough, that's not the case. Basically, the locked room in the master bedroom, the locked door, rather, that's actually something that comes into play later in the game. So I haven't spoiled myself on what that is exactly, but that's an area we're going to be coming back to. So in that case, I think we've basically solved uh, the puzzle for now of this mansion. I did notice on the walkthrough I was looking at, apparently there's a, f uh, um, there's, a, there's a few bugs in this level, which enable you to sort of like get onto the roof, go out through a window, get outside of the main gates and things like that. But we're not going to bother with those. If you're interested in those, you can go and look at walkthroughs. And I'm sure there's videos on YouTube already that showcase them. So what we're going to do is now, because we're about 90 minutes in we are just going to basically get ourselves back into the main game back to the main storyline continuing so let's go
Venice, ladies and gentlemen. So we left off here. Um, this is a bit of an abrupt transition, admittedly. But um, here we are, of course, on the canals. Now, there's the dudes who we got to friggin' worry about who are going to be issues when we get out there. So what I need to do is I need to figure out what the hotkeys for the different weapons actually are. So two is the shotgun. Okay, good. One, obviously, is the pistols. So we can put those away for now. So, of course, there's dogs, there's dudes up here who are going to be a bit of an issue if we're not careful. Now, the problem with this game is I still haven't figured out what the deal is with the friggin' um, health. Because there's no health bar, which makes this kind of awkward. And I still don't know if that's a bug or if that's an intentional bit of design. So, we'll see. Uh, right, we've got to get up here. And then we have to sort of, like, jump across, obviously. Oh, God, I thought there was a weird little uh, glitch then, but no, it was just the music coming in. That's good. Uh, might as well have a quick save while we're up here, just so, you know, it'll cut out that jump in case we die. Right. Oh, God. I saw someone moving down there in that direction. Now, the dude is going to appear to the left. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get the old shotgun out. Now, is that... Oh. I saw him moving again over there. I think that's just a one jump, so we can probably just do it like this. Right, and turn it round. Oh, God, he's... Oh. There we go. <laughs> well, that wasn't the most ideal way of doing it, but we killed the dude and we killed the dog. Okay. That's the thing you always got to remember about these games. You've got to use your other weapons, not just your pistols, because your pistols are pretty weak. So, that's the thing. Oh. God, I thought there was like a person off over in the distance by that boat over there. I think it might just be a statue. Oh no, it is a person. Okay, it's the dude. He was just so shadowed that he looked a bit weird. He looked like some kind of weird spectre or something. All right. Okay, okie doke. So let me just uh, take another quick save whilst we're up here. Because uh, in case I die, basically, in case there's another dog or something. Which doesn't look like there is, but I'm pretty sure there might be other enemies. Oh, did he drop a health pack? I think he did. All right, give me that. Need it. Uh -huh. I wonder, do the enemies all now drop things? Or some of them, anyway. Can I get his gun? <laughs> no, I don't think so. All right, well, at least we took him out. How many shotgun shells do I have left here? One. <laughs> okay. That's not ideal. Automatic pistol clips. I don't have an automatic pistol yet, but... Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I was meant to hit 1. That was what I meant to hit. I accidentally hit F1 instead. And the problem is, the F1 and F2 controls actually do things with the resolution of the game. So I had to press F2 again there, and then I had to resume recording. Good God. I didn't anticipate that. That was not what I wanted to do. All right, well, get me pistols out, because I'm sure there's a dude in here, isn't there? Yeah, there's a dude. Shit. Crap. Keep backing up. Got him. Right, he's down. There we go. Hoping he didn't hit me. Okay, right, let me take another save since he's dead. That's the thing about uh, these old Tomb Raider games, you've got to save frequently, otherwise you're in trouble. Right, so there's a key. Oh, well, he's got a key there, so check there's nothing else. Uh, let's have a look. All right, let's go and get this. This probably unlocks this door, right? Uh -huh. I would imagine, anyway. Uh, let's see. There we go. Steel key. In you go. And remember, if there's any glass windows, you can shoot them out. Or any transparent windows, that is. All right, hang on. So we'll go through there in a second. But before we do that, let me just climb up here. Is there something I can do here? Like, can I get onto the roof, maybe? Do you reckon? Oh, I can. Oh, my lord. Oh, hang on. Am I supposed to be able to do this? Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to do that. I think there might be like a, a certain bug or something here that maybe the game is like freaking out a bit. Because <laughs> you can grab onto the edge of the roof, but apparently... Yeah, but then it just, it just knocks you off. Okay. Interesting that it sort of lets you do that, though. It's kind of weird, isn't it? It's, not like, a, you know, it's like a TV aerial or something up there. <laughs> I don't know what that was for a second. All right, enough parping around. Let's get in here. See what the old deal is. Keep my guns out. In case there's any baddies. Oh, I just dropped down. Like a maniac. Good lord. I don't think you can shoot these out, can you? No. They're not the right kind of win. Oh, hello. It's like a knife switch. Aha! Okay, so we've opened up a passage for the boat. I see. I'm enjoying, actually, this um, 
Well, the fact that this has these new mechanics of, like, vehicles and things just makes it kind of interesting, doesn't it? Somebody is moving around out there. I can hear them. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Shit. Don't you dare. Oof. Not quite what I wanted to do, but, uh, okay. As long as he doesn't freaking drop down and try and shoot me, I think we're okay. That's not what I wanted to do either. Can I jump from here, or... Yes, I can. Right, this dude's going to be a bit of a problem, isn't he? That's the issue. Wait for him. Oh. Okay, he does. Wait for Lara to sort of do that. Got him. There we go. I think he did do a bit of damage to me, which is not ideal. Okay, uh -huh. he's dropping ammo, though. That's good. So I'm guessing that's automatic pistol ammo that he just gave me there. It looks like it. Yeah, I've now got six of those. So at some point we are going to pick up one of their weapons. Can't just pick them up now, though, off their dead bodies, but... Right, we'll kill them. Let's, um... Save. Okay. So now that we've opened that door, it'll want us to go somewhere else. Whoa! Hello! Shit! Christ almighty! wonder if I can hit you from down here. Up here, rather. Wait for him. Ooh. I can get a few shots off on him. Got him. Right, he's out. So we don't have to worry about him either, fortunately. Yeah, I can probably swim over there, actually, can't we? Because there's a boat. Hmm. Yeah, it probably is worth having a look, having a gander and seeing what that guy is hiding. So let's go. Because we can always swim back. Because Lara's a good swimmer and all that. So nobody up on that balcony, is there? Not by the looks of it. Now, there's a gate there that hasn't opened. There's a path down there that looks like it's mined. So we don't want to be taking the boat down there, I don't think. So let's just ignore that for the moment. Let's get out over here. And just examine, see if this guy's dropped anything that we can pick up. Which he probably has. Yeah, he's got something here. What's this? Uh -huh. Is that ammo? More automatic pistol clips? Uh, no, it's something else. It's M16 clips. Okay. That sounds like a new weapon. Alright, there is a... Aha! A door here that requires a key, which we don't have, I don't think, do we? Yeah, we definitely don't have a key. No, that's not a thing. Right, so... I think we have to probably go back somewhere, don't we? So we've got this boat over here, which is a spare boat, I guess. But we can't really do anything with it, because that path down there is mined, which is not going to be good. Unless we can just sort of swim through the mine section, but I'm not sure. Um, but there was another path, obviously, down the, down the canal, so... Hang on, let me, I just want to test this. Can you just swim past these? Oh, well, it's blocked off over there, actually, isn't it? Actually, there's no point going over there, then. Alright, so, yeah, I know where we want to go, then. It wants us to go back. Back over here. Swim underneath the, the gondolas. And probably we'll take our boat the other way. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. Alright, let's get in. Let's go for another boat ride. Back up. Back water. There we go. God, I really do love the new mechanic of <laughs> vehicles and all that. I think there might be a dude actually around on this platform over here. Oh, there is. Okay. I definitely can't use my friggin' guns, can I, whilst I'm in here. That's the problem. Right, hold it. Maybe we can uh, just swim past this douche. Or maybe... Can we? Can I get out? Oh. Oh, God, he's actually shooting me. That's bad. Shit. Oh, fuck, I hit the bloody F1 key again. Okay, back in. Sorry. I just did the same thing again. Hit the bloody F1 key by accident. That's annoying, that is. Just because, you know, the weapon hotkeys. I keep trying to go for those and hitting the wrong button. But um, I just took the opportunity to look at how long we've been recording for. So I think this is probably enough, actually, for episode four. We made a bit of progress, both in the, uh, in the manor and in terms of here as well. So come episode five, we'll continue on with Venice. Just keep going through and we'll see uh, what secrets await us deeper in the town. So we'll keep uh, sailing along. So basically what I did was after I died, because I died to that dude who was on the freaking platform as I went round there. Um, he shot me to pieces pretty quickly. So when I reloaded him, basically I, I went back over there. I just picked up the dude's M16 clips, came back over here, saved. So what I'll probably do um, is take one of my med packs, because I think I'm probably quite low on health at the moment take one of those, get in the boat, and then just friggin'
charge past him and just not have anything to do with him because I think he's you know otherwise I'm having to get out of the boat onto his platform during which time he'll probably shoot me to absolute pieces and kill me so that's the plan ladies and gents Facebook and Twitter links down below along with a link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested and if you enjoyed a like is always appreciated but other than that goodbye everybody <laughs>